Merry Christmas. Christmas Eve, you guys. What are you doing? Well, I am baking cookies. And uh, just talking with my mom, so. Yeah, join us with the conversation. Come on. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle. Hey guys, so it's Christmas Eve and we're just sitting around um, doing some cookies. You know, set off the cookies for Santa Claus, you know. And I'm chit chatting with my mom. Sorry we're not on camera, but we just wanted to show you all the cookies. And hello. <laughs> you hear her saying hello to y'all. And then mom, they love you in your video. Oh, thank you. I <laughs> hope that I can, uh, could be an inspiration to uh, people who needed to be inspired. Yeah. So what are we doing? We're doing um, sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies and um, different variations of sugar cookies with like sprinkles and all that good stuff. So we got some sprinkles here. Yeah. A version of semi-homemade. Yeah. Uh, Oftentimes, you, you, you ha have the flour that's everywhere on the table, the sugar, the vanilla, the eggs. Uh, but this time, we're just going to go uh, commercial mm -hmm. and use commercialized uh, cookie dough that's already been uh, packaged and ready to slice. Yeah, so we got some nice uh, cookie dough here. Pillsbury. Pillsbury cookie dough. Boom. What? Yeah. And then you gotta have, you gotta have the good old uh, chocolate chip cookies. You know, you gotta have a, the chocolate chip cookies. What? Christmas time without having chocolate chip cookies and decorated sugar cookies. Yeah. And Santa loves both of these. Yes. With a big cold glass of milk. <laughs> mm-hmm. So let's get started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one you gonna do first, Mom? Well, why don't we do the the chocolate chips first. Okay, we can do the chocolate chips then. Okay. Go. First thing we want to do is open our package. And I always use either a, a sharp knife to slit it or a pair of utility scissors. And to this evening I've chosen to use the the knife and sharp is and then if you're if you're using a knife always be careful with handling it and make sure your cookie dough is very firm so you want to put it in the, re the refrigerator before you um, try to slice it and that way it's it um, is firm and it spreads evenly during the baking and the instructions and everything are on the on the package so you always want to make sure that you keep the package uh, so you can refer back to the guide as far as how what to do and how to do it the temperature and how many uh, minutes to to uh, uh, bake your cookies yeah 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 and then with the with the commercialized cookie, the, the semi homemade, it's it's kind of um, cuts the time down too. You know, I like I'm I'm a girl. I, I like, like that. Yeah, I like I like homemade cookies, but then sometimes, hey, I just don't feel like doing all of that. 
So, the semi homemade is, is the next best thing. Let's put them uh, on the cookie sheet. And usually about uh, about three to four rows. Make a little uh, with these uh, the chocolate chips you want to space them so they'll spread and I make them slice them and then try to make them into a little ball and the, the bigger the ball the bigger the cookie the smaller the ball the smaller the cookie so it's your preference on how you want to uh, what size you want your cookies to be. And we always, Caden, my grandson, always enjoy the cookies that we make uh, uh, either from scratch or uh, the, the packaged cookie dough. He just enjoy eating cookies. He loves that. As uh, Michelle and Paris, when they were uh, young, they used to enjoy that too. And uh, during Christmas time, when Michelle and Paris were were younger, they were great school age. Uh, I used to gather all the nieces and nephews over to the house to bake cookies, and we would do a combination of scratch baked cookies and also the the packaged one and uh, it would uh, when they would come over to do that it would allow their mothers and uh, their parents to an opportunity to go shopping without the children so we always enjoyed doing that and it allowed the cousins to to get together and and uh, kind of taste and tease each other about how their cookies were looking, the finished product and everything. And then they all got a chance to take the cookie home uh, with them to share with other family members. And that was a fun time, wasn't it, Michelle? Yes, it was. And we'd make all kinds of cookies, chocolate chips, sugar cookies decorated. We'd do snickerdoodle. Um, we would do, um, um, what are some more, the, um, the cookies with the, the, uh, uh, with the kisses in the, Hershey's kisses in the middle, mm -hmm. we do that, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, I enjoyed it. Those are some great memories. I'm going to wash my hands. Them in the hands all nice and clean and I'm gonna put these in the the oven for eight to ten minutes and but I'm gonna watch it in between because it may be maybe variation as to how long it may take and you have to do that you you must uh, Keep an eye on your cookies because you'd never know what your oven temperature might be. So you have to really kind of watch that in uh, doing that. And while I'm while those are baking, I'm going to pop the the cookie dough back in the refrigerator to keep it chilled because we don't want to have warm cookie dough because it doesn't. Uh, as I was saying it. It doesn't um, allow the cookie to to expand the way it's supposed to, and um, and you want to have your dough chilled. What's that, Mom? What do you have there? Oh, this is a brown paper bag, 
and this and the uh, ask me what the reason for the brown paper bag. What is the reason for the brown paper bag? <laughs> when we were children, my siblings and I, we didn't have stockings like you and your brother and your nephew and other children now had uh -huh. uh, to have uh, goodies placed in it. So my parents uh, had brown paper bags. Uh, was it didn't have all the writing on it. It was just a plain brown paper bag. And all of our goodies that we received for Christmas, the nuts, the candy, the uh, fruit, uh, our little toys that we would get, uh, any uh, coins that we would get for Christmas, it would be placed in, in a brown paper bag. And our name was on it so that nobody would uh, say that one bag was theirs when it wasn't. Uh, everybody's name was placed on, was written on the bag and it would say, have our name, it would say mom and dad on there. And um, it was placed at the foot of the bed. So it wasn't on the mantle or anything like that or under the tree because we didn't have a fireplace mantle. Um, we didn't have a, a Christmas tree. Uh, we uh, uh, just had joy within our house with lights and everything all around and uh, candles and things like that and and as I said the bag was placed at the foot of the bed with our names on it and with all the joy that was filled in it. So as a tradition for uh, my husband and I with our children uh, we've carried that over to uh, Michelle and Paris and Caden and Alex also, he's included in this, Michelle's uh, guy friend. And uh, we always write their name on the bag across the, the top portion and, and say to Michelle or to Paris, to Alex, to uh, Kaden, from mom and dad, from grandma and granddaddy. And uh, they look in the bag and it will be um, candy, nuts, uh, apple, oranges, uh, a little small token of toy or something that something for them to enjoy kind of personalized and then they'd have uh, either five dollars or a ten dollar bill or a dollar bill in there and it's just always a joy and 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 we always enjoy that mm -hmm. and we we really enjoy it. we look forward to it every year you guys so it's awesome I like so the bags are ready <laughs> thanks, for, uh, thanks for sharing it with everybody. Our, our little You're tradition. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, so we're going to get into the next batch of cookies, you guys. to your family from our family. Happy holidays to you.
Bye. Bye. Don't forget to check out my last video and get social with me on social media at The Review Chick. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, no. Let me go. Come on. <laughs> I'll take three takes. I'll tell you. Come on. <laughs>